Hi, it's Philip Byrne from Phonescoop.com, and I'm taking a look at the new Mozilla browser running on the Nokia N900. So I'll show you a few things we've got in Firefox on N900. Um, sports tab browsing, so you can swap back and forth between your tabs uh, using these thumbnails. If you swipe to the other side, you see your controls like bookmarking, back and forward button, and access to your, your browser settings. Uh, we support the awesome bar, which is our modestly named URL bar that lets you get where you want to go. So I'm here in Las Vegas, so I'll type L-A-S. And boom, there's my uh, map of Las Vegas, city center where I'm staying, some restaurants, all the information kind of right there at my fingertips. And what's interesting about this is it's been synchronized from my PC. So these are sites I was probably at on my uh, laptop in the last couple of days. And now that I need them when I'm mobile, I can just start typing and, and they'll be there. We've integrated search into the URL bar as well. So you now I can enter a search term. And instead of doing a general search at Google or a book search at Amazon, I can search uh, Twitter and see what people are saying about CTIA uh, in real time here. Um, I'm sure they'll be informative. Um, also, we support browser add-ons. So if I click here, uh, we can take a look at the different add-ons I have installed. So we have an add-on to support YouTube. We have the synchronization tool called WeaveSync, a Twitter bar, which lets me send tweets from my URL bar, and the search engines are add-ons as well. So you can add and remove and, um, and, and customize your search experience. Uh, we also have a download manager, um, all the usual uh, browser preferences so you can control your privacy and security and, and clear your data um, and then back to the browser. So that's a quick tour of, of Firefox for mobile. Let me show you a quick, um, give you a feel for some of the things we're doing to enable HTML5 and enable web developers. I'll show you a quick demo of uh, SVG and CSS. So um, what I've got here is, is an image of the Firefox logo and this is using uh, CSS uh, and to, to and SVG to clip and to, to draw the circle and transform this image into that and then and then to to animate it. Um, so it's a rudimentary demo, but you can get a sense for what, what we're trying to do with HTML and, and CSS and JavaScript. Um, I'll do one quick demo along those lines as well. So what this demo is going to show, it's going to load up um, load up an image and then show you what happens when you actually move the device around. I don't know if you can catch on video, but we're receiving events in JavaScript to, to resize the image on the fly. Um, so many things to expose the capabilities of the device, like camera, geolocation, orientation, and, and more. So that's a quick tour of Firefox for mobile. The Weave synchronization technology we talked about, we've also exposed an API to that so that people can begin to build um, applications using that API. So here's a sample application that um, is accessing the history, bookmarks, and open tabs from my other computers and phones um, and, and displaying them here. So as you'll remember, we just looked at some of my tabs on my N900. Here's the search we just did, um, and here are the tabs that I showed you from my, my, my laptop, and we can um, pull up those pages. So you know, in this case, I, these are my meetings for today. So I could preview that page, I could launch Safari, and, and uh, the take home here is that, you know, even though we can't bring Firefox to every platform, we're going to provide APIs and tools and see what, what creative developers can do with those things. And it's part of being open um, to uh, choice and, and innovation. So we want to see what people do with these, these Weave APIs. And this is just one example, and I think you'll see it um, for other devices as well. And I also want to point out the sync is so fast that the, this CTIA Twitter search is something that we just searched for on the N900 and it's already showing up in Weave here on the iPhone app. Um, is this built by Mozilla in-house or was this a third party that built this app? This was built by some engineers at Mozilla mm -hmm. and some community members uh, outside of Mozilla, so it's, I think it's a combination.